Actually healthy advice, not just to bulk with rice and chicken for muscle growth or to eat raw liver to get ripped or to smoke cigars for testosterone, but actually becoming more healthy while gaining muscle mass and increasing your testosterone levels with meals that are fast to make. Because honestly, who wants to spend time in the kitchen when you can go to the gym or work on your business? Not me. Because time and speed is everything. Momentum, speed, power, forward, forward, forward. How quickly is it done? The sooner it's done, the sooner it makes money. And lastly, we make sure it's actually enjoyable to eat. So we can keep doing it forever because that is the only thing worthwhile doing. Basically, the U.S. lost the Vietnam War because they were they were applying a finite structure, which is we're going to win this war. And the Vietnamese people were, were playing an infinite game structure, which is we're going to stay alive and keep fighting. And as long as someone is staying alive and keeping fighting, they will beat the person who's trying to end something. And so the infinite frame always conquers the finite. And the thing is, is that most of the games worth playing are infinite. And so if you're trying to get in shape, you don't win getting in shape. The point is to stay in shape for the rest of your life. The infinite games. If you're still watching this, I recommend increasing the video speed to become more productive. But before we get into a rabbit hole with all the little things that will compound and increase your testosterone levels over time, let's look instead at the 80-20 rule, which says that 80% of our results only come from 20% of our efforts. Let me say that again, or the other way around. 20% of the things we do lead to 80% of the things we get. So what is part of the 20% that will lead to 80% of our testosterone, muscle mass, and health? Number one, stop drinking alcohol. Prioritize your sleep. Exercise, especially weightlifting, as it increases testosterone levels the most out of all sports. And a quick tip, and it's based on my personal experience, going to the gym every day is much easier than, for example, going three times a week because it is now a daily habit that you never step back from. So on your rest day, still go to the gym and do some stretching or go to the sauna to maintain the habit of going to the gym and making it effortless. Number four, get enough protein. Aim for two grams of protein per kilogram of your body weight. Number five, expose yourself to sunlight, preferably within an hour after waking up. Imagine going into a clock store with every clock is an alarm clock and they're on different schedules. That's what happens if you don't view morning sunlight. And you do view morning sunlight for about five minutes to 10 minutes on a clear day. Just look in the general direction of the sun, even if you have to be on your phone, but just kind of get some sunlight in your eyes and blink if you need to, if it's painful. That morning sunlight coordinates all the cellular and organ systems of your body. It boosts a number of chemicals that need to be released early in the day, such as cortisol, which is healthy if it's released early in the day, and the so-called catecholamines, which gives you increased focus, energy, and alertness through the morning increased immune system function throughout the day. And it sets a timer on some other clocks in the body, including the one that releases melatonin about 16 hours later to make you sleepy and fall asleep easily. If you don't do it for two days or three days in a row, what happens is that morning increase in cortisol still happens, but it starts getting pushed out towards the afternoon. And that is strongly associated with depressive symptoms, anxiety, and sleeplessness at night, which then just makes it harder to fall function during the next day. The next day. Yeah. And lastly, manage your stress levels. I, I talk to people all the time like, oh, I'm unhappy, I'm depressed, and I'm like, stop saying it. And this is what people really don't yet understand. There's only one thing on the planet you actually have control over. You can't control the weather. You can't control your health. You can't control other people. The only thing you can actually really truly control is what you think. That's the only thing you can change in real time. You can be thinking of red and change it to blue. So why are you not controlling your own mind? It's your, it's your asset. It's your ally. It's your friend. Why would you make an enemy out of the only thing you have control over? I refuse to do that. It doesn't make sense to me. You could, the worst thing on earth that could happen to a man could happen to me. And I guarantee you, I would still label myself happy. I'm happy because that's who I am. That's how I view myself. That's what I've decided. Learn to control your own mind. Hopefully by now you understand that your lifestyle is not only important for your health but also muscle mass and testosterone levels. So let's move to the most important nutrient in your diet, protein. Aim for at least 1.5, but ideally 2 grams of protein per kilogram body weight. So if you currently weigh 70 kg, make sure you get between 105 and 140 grams of protein per day. 
People think it's crazy that I've eaten 200 grams of protein for almost 20 straight years, every single day. And I do that because it's way easier for me to live my life. And of all the people that I've seen who've been in insane shape for extended periods of time, they never follow crash diets. They never follow anything crazy. They follow a few rules that works well for them. For me, I know I have to have my 200 grams of protein just to maintain the muscle mass that I have. And then in order to get my calories in, I just backfill whatever I feel like to get the calories. And so whether that's cookies, whether it's pies, whether it's cupcakes or a big bowl of pasta and rice, it doesn't really matter i'll have my shake i'll have a couple steaks and then i'm good to go now i agree that your protein intake is part of the few rules that really matter but i disagree with alex on the latter part where he says to eat whatever as long as it fits your macros because it's still not healthy now i already hear you say but jordan alex is much bigger than you well that's true it's also true that someone can look very healthy from the outside, but inside his body, there's still a lot of problems going on. And you only find out when it's too late. Now, I don't say that Joe, the famous fitness influencer, passed away last week because he didn't eat healthy. But what I do try to say is that the people who are the healthiest and track all their data points are not eating junk food, even though it fits their macros. Because if they tried, all their biomarker, biomarkers started to go down immediately. Maybe you think, Jordan, if I don't see or feel the difference, it doesn't matter, right? Well, when you look at cancer, it starts to grow way before you feel it. And when you feel it, it's often too late. So eat healthy. Let's listen to Brian Johnson, a man that I follow myself closely since the last four months. He knows what he's talking about and A-B tests everything from sleep to his diet, all based on data. I've been spending millions of dollars trying to create the perfect diet. What I did is I asked all my organs of the body, hey heart, liver and kidney, what do you need to be your best self? We looked at scientific evidence and this is the result. A diet exactly mapped to produce 50 perfect biomarkers. My speed of aging is currently slower than the average 10 year old. So let me show you what I do on a daily basis. When I wake up in the morning, I drink the green giant. Collagen peptides, cinnamon, spermidine via chlorella powder, amino acids, 57 pills. I then work out for one hour. I come back inside, I have super veggie, which is a few pounds of broccoli, cauliflower, mushrooms, black lentils, ginger, and garlic, extra virgin olive oil of a very special type, and 100% dark chocolate, which is bitter, and I pair this with the vegetables. One hour later, nutty pudding, which is macadamia nuts, walnuts, flax seeds, berries, sunflower lechen, pea protein, an additional roughly 40 pills. I'll have a third meal of the day, which includes vegetables, berries, and nuts, and some more olive oil. All together is 2,000 calories. 2000 calories, not a lot. He created the perfect diet for health. Now we only need to change it. So it's also perfect for testosterone and muscle mass. Unless of course you want, to, you don't want to get bigger than Brian. Um, what I did is taking the best stuff from his diet while keeping the plan affordable and especially easy to make because we don't want to start wasting precious time on meal prepping, right? You know what I'm not doing? Cutting up broccoli and putting it in little boxes. Mm. Mm. If I make enough little boxes, maybe I'll get some biceps. Truly. Wait! There are literally gay porn movies less gay than meal prep YouTube videos. Gay. Super gay. gay. Well, let's start with number one, ginger. Studies have shown that ginger increase sperm count and testosterone levels. And you can easily put it in your food or tea. Number two, cinnamon. Specifically, saline cinnamon or kaolin cinnamon, which has the most of the health benefits when compared to the normal cinnamon you find in the supermarket. This is the one Brian Johnson recommends. Um, what I recommend is to buy it at least in power, powder form, because what I would do is to add this all into a shake with milk, five grams of creatine, because creatine has a lot of benefits. Things like creatine, not just for, we think creatine muscles, and indeed it brings water into the muscles and make you stronger. Most of the data, clinical data on creatine are to enhance forebrain function. It's a nootropic. It's a nootropic, it post-concussion, post-surgery, postpartum depression, headache, I mean. Everything. Of course, we can't miss protein powder. One of the most practical ways to increase and reach your daily protein intake. I add two bigs. Uh, big scoops per day into my shake and I take whey protein instead of soy based protein for obvious reasons add some cacao powder or what I do is I eat 85% pure chocolate every morning 
because it contains a lot of caffeine, which helps me focus in the morning. Fun fact, it contains a similar amount of caffeine as a cup of coffee. I didn't know that. And 85% um, for me is a sweet spot in terms of taste while still reaping the benefits of pure chocolate. Next are nuts. If you can afford them, then I highly recommend them. I eat walnuts, pecans, almonds, and cashew nuts every day for the health benefits. But Brazil nuts may increase testosterone levels because they contain a lot of selenium, which has been tested in studies and proven to increase sperm count and sperm quality. Also, <laughs> include eggs in your diet. And bake your eggs in olive oil. Fun fact, Brian Johnson is producing his own olive oil because it plays an important part in his diet. Besides that, try to include fat fish in your diet if you like seafood. I don't like it that much. Avoid carbs, especially in the morning if you want to stay productive. Stick to whole foods that are as close as possible to fresh. And replace coffee with yerba mate. It's a healthier alternative and my personal favorite. I'm actually drinking it right now, as you can see. So caffeine actually makes you able to experience more of dopamine's effects. If one were going to consume caffeine, you might consider consuming that caffeine in the form of yerba mate. Ingestion of yerba mate and some of the compounds within yerba mate can actually serve to preserve the survival of dopamine neurons. It's also high in antioxidants. It also contains something called GLP-1, which is favorable for management of blood sugar levels. In my case, I don't need any incentive. I already enjoy yerba mate as my principal source of caffeine. It's the best. And lastly, don't forget to eat your onions. I ate three to four raw onions a day. At my point now, it's more of a supplement than even a food. But I was fighting my kickboxing coach. He'd make me eat loads of onion and garlic. It was like a folklore thing. So I used to see all these crazy big dudes eating onions all the time. And then I started, and there's a massive tangible difference. So I just eat shit with money. A massive tangible difference. Remember, start living your life like it is a documentary. Because it is. Someone is just not filming you yet.